This forecast is powered by Kensington Furniture. Two acres of selections, 106 years of local experience. Well, I certainly hope no matter what you did today, you were able to put a smile on your face because Mother Nature just wasn't doing it for us. We had cloudy skies out there. We had some showers for the first half of the day, and it was just blah overall. Some of you up in Camden and Gloucester County certainly got in on a wee bit more sunshine than everybody else, and that is always welcome, right? Temperatures got in the lower 60s. We're currently sitting at 50 in Atlantic City, 55 in Philadelphia, and you can clearly see the colder air mass out to our west, and these numbers are gonna start to move on in. 38 in Pittsburgh right now, 54 for Millville, 49 for Mays Landing, and 52 in Woodland Township. We had that system that brought the rain, that is well off to our northeast right now. You have some scattered clouds over central Pennsylvania, but those clouds are going to fizzle, and we're looking at bright, clear, starry skies overnight. Really nice looking weather, and it's going to start to get uh, quite nippy as well. Okay, now we have a storm system moving through, and hold your horses. All right, pump the brakes just a second. I know in the weather universe out there on Twitter and Facebook, they were talking about this snowstorm coming. It's all malarkey, okay? We are going to get some rain, some showers. We'll arrive by Thursday morning and afternoon. It's going to be a cold rain. We are on the warm side of this storm. Any snow is well to our north and west. Now, if the cold air can work in fast enough, we could absolutely see a few wet snowflakes on the back end of the thing, perhaps even some pellets of sleet but nothing substantial, certainly nothing measurable. Next week, we do have the potential for something to develop along the coast with the cold air already in place, but that's six days out. You know my policy. I don't really like to discuss anything that's not very certain. We'll gather some consensus and see if it's still there in the next few days, and then we'll start to hone in on it. 38 tonight, skies become mainly clear, turning colder for sure. West-northwest winds at five miles an hour, 54 on your Wednesday. Bright skies are back with us. It is going to be very crisp. Light northwest winds at just a couple miles an hour. Really nice stuff coming your way. Then we start to cloud back up on Thursday. Here comes that system with mainly cloudy skies, scattered afternoon rain showers, and uh, light west winds still at about uh, a couple miles an hour. The big story is going to be the cold coming our way. And I thought it would be interesting to show you guys where the cold air is coming from and where it is right now just to the east of Anchorage, Alaska, to the east of Juna, and it's in western Canada. This is going to be a true taste of Arctic air coming down into Winnipeg and Fargo and Duluth by Wednesday afternoon. Then it's going to continue to pour into the Great Lakes and then down into our area. There's that rain snow line, that freezing line, if you will, pushing down to our south. And this is significant because by Friday morning, you take air temperatures in the 20s and you take a wind and you're going to get real field numbers, wind chills. The first time we're discussing those numbers this season in the teens. So it is going to be rather cold out there. Your seven day forecast. I like where we go. If you're a fan of cool weather, of course, 46 on Friday and Saturday going into Sunday, a little bit warmer. And then Monday and Tuesday, I do have that chance right there. Nothing set in stone but I figured we'd add it as a conversation piece. Have yourselves a great night.